history is this today. I am always honored to be in the presence of greatness. So today I stand before you bowing humbly in the spirit with tears of joy and excitement in my soul and barefoot for today there is honor here. And the ascension of the lotus has begun and the seeds we sow are on holy and fertile ground. It was an honor to be able to write the forward for my dear friend's book, Now That I'm Here, and I'd like to share that with you. I believe that miracles are born in an atmosphere of expectancy. This is true. And when I opened Now That I'm Here, I found a dove with eagle's wings preparing for flight and heard a song that voyaged from the pages in her beautiful piece of work to my heart that moved through my spirit as a precious tune. Like uniquely composed masterpieces that are obliquely recognized and appreciated for their significance, this personal victory will be treasured by humanity. I found a sweet piece and pride and intimately knowing the power that it takes to allow a true healing to occur and finding the will to accept the blessings that come from being healed. I believe that no major endeavor of this sort, executed with bravery and a pure desire to touch the lives of others can be successfully completed without a heart that has been changed. From our character building experiences that help us discover our strengths to the wisdom and discernment that we gain from finding what we've lost. Those pages, they speak. That book that calls the peculiar lotus flower out of the murky waters of life and causes the hardened mud that has been cooked by the sun to break shows the courage that it takes to repair the human soul. I consider this work to be an extraordinarily selflessly expressive collection of poems and thoughts because it sparked a reflection into my own personal epiphany that came when freedom's rain washed away my painful yesterdays. In the spirit, I imagine the glorious applause, shouts, murmurs, cries, and whispers from the foremothers as they sang in unison, daughter of woman, Spread your light now that you are here, indeed. I have the awesome pleasure of sharing with you the peace that was birthed in my spirit in honor of the triumph of the arrival of the Lotus. Daughter of woman. to be healed, and to speak, listen, write, and love yourself into a phenomenal state of existence. We are all here. Watering you with tears of gratitude, we've been waiting for you. The healed and the healers, those of us who have been muted by the pain of our yesterdays, eager to tell our stories but afraid of the sound of our own voices. Those of us not willing to relive the experiences that bind us together, but desire to hear the triumph at the end of our stories. We welcome you. The sun awaits your ascension after the rain. Uncover your ears. Stretch your arms. Break the chains of mud and earth that for many seasons warmed your coldness, holding you motionless and still in your imperfections. Shed your fears and open your eyes. You rise and stand from bended knee, erect and humble. It is your time to speak. Come forth, daughter of woman. I beseech you, therefore, to present your gift as a living vessel of light in motion. 
with the best intention, now is the time. Today is your day. This moment is yours. Fear not the storms, for they shall come. Enjoy the return of your beauty. Release. Be free. Share. I wish you to dance. Expect a miracle. Rejoice. And may you live. May you live, indeed. I present to you the author, the entrepreneur, the pioneer in motion, the trailblazer, the writer, the artist, the poet, the visionary, the wife, the mother, and my dear, friend, in words and in the spirit, Brooke Blander.